Hey, how you doing? This is Chris with Rubio Surfboards. Just wanted to go through a couple of tales with you for the more of the beginners that uh, that are trying to figure out what's the right tail that they should be riding for their break. Uh, today we have a couple of different boards that I've made uh, and a couple of general tails that are uh, that are going in our models. Uh, today we have here. This is our Hornet model. This has a squash tail. Uh, the squash tail generates a lot of speed and, uh, and, and still is very stable and it holds very well. It does some of the uh, some of the tails do have a lot of uh, area to them. Some of the squash tails do have a lot of area, uh, so they still hold very well and they do generate speed. Our anchor model, which is our second one here, uh, this is a pintail. Uh, this is a more rounded pin, uh, slightly a little bit more rounded. It's not too much more rounded than, a, you know, than a regular rounded pintail. But with this pintail, what it does, and 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 the reason why it's like this is this is for more of the hollow waves. This will actually hold a lot more than your actual your squash tail. This is not for a tail for generating speed. This tail is not going to generate speed for you. What it is going to generate is a lot of hold on those hollow days that you need to get in and out of the tube in a hurry and uh, and and you know you want to make that wave, you want to make that tube. This is this is the right board uh, for it. This is the right tail for it as well. Yeah. So this is, um, I would recommend it for anyone that's surfing large surf. Um, to powerful surf. This is this is it here. This is uh, coming down more. This is our scale model. This is what we call, you know, a uh, a rounded pintail or a thumb tail. Uh, this is this does generate slightly a little bit of speed, but it's not a lot of speed. What this generates. Um, this holds well. It releases. It does not release very well. Uh, if you wanted to look for something that releases a little bit more, it would be something like a squash tail or a square tail. This tail here does not release like it, like it, you know, like a squash or or, or square. It it holds in tight. It uh, it's a very good carving board. It's uh, it holds in, you know, to the wave just like the pintail does which is very beneficial for you if you're surfing a little bit more of a uh, a, uh, a smaller wave as perhaps the surfing a more of a hollow wave like you would with a pintail this is still very nice you know very nice feeling of a tail now what we have here is our diamond model uh, this actually has a wing tail going into a small pin uh, this is um, the wing tail really what it does is it, it goes from being a very thick board to actually narrowing out the tail. It actually gives it a harder edge, so you can turn harder on the uh, on the edge of your board. You're able to do your bottom turns a little bit, uh, you know, on steeper wave, which is also very good. Um, you'll see some of the, our boards will have two or three wings to it. That just means it just it just sticks more to the wave. It it holds. Not only it holds, but it, it releases a little better as well. With the pintail added to the back of the wing, it actually it actually holds for those bigger days, for those bigger waves also. So it um, it's actually very versatile. It's very nice. Now there's a lot of different uh, you know tails that we won't be able to get to today, like the bat tail or the uh, you know or the the moon tail which are going to be coming out on our different other uh, on our different uh, models but those those tails right now what they do a quick overview the moon tail it works very well with you know kind of like the fish tail that we're going to be talking about in a minute but the moon tail is more for the sloppy waves the slower waves it uh, it releases from two pivot points which is very nice exactly like the bat tail as well works very good with quads um, on a uh, on a smaller sloppier waves actually the bat tail does work very well in towing boards as well so that's something that you know if you're into tow towing in and all that you know that that could be something that you would be interested in our last board here is you know your normal fish tail 
uh, has a custom inlay to it. It's very, very nice. This is our fishtail. This is actually, um, it has two pivot points. It allows a lot of water, you know, just to slide through. The two pivot points, they act like, you know, uh, they act like an extra pair of fins, which is great. Um, it just, it allows the water just to flow straight down the middle, generating a lot, a lot of speed. This is, this is the board that you want if you want to generate speed, if you want to go fast down the line without the effort. All these, you know, some of these boards like the squash tail, the square tail, will generate speed, but you gotta really pump down the line and really do a lot of work. Uh, with something like this, it's not, you don't really have to do work. This will generate speed on its, on its own. And uh, th this is why, you know, one of my, one of my personal favorite boards is the, uh, is the fish. You know, exactly like the, uh, exactly like the moon tail and the bat tail. You know, this generates a lot of speed, and those those will generate a lot of speed as well. Uh, you can uh, look at all our models and all our boards at uh, rubiosurfboards.com. You know, you can you know check out all of our all of our different models and everything like that. Uh, Everything is all handmade, custom made to the order. We do have a couple of boards though in stock always. So if you wanna if you wanna check it out, customize your own board, definitely definitely check it out. You know, but uh I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this was helpful for you and uh hopefully you would be uh giving me a call soon and checking out a couple of our boards. Any other questions that you have, feel free to send us an email or send us a message. You can check us out at rubiosurfboards.com. And I hope you have a good service.